The United Nations has appointed an expert panel to investigate suspected war crimes on both sides during the latest conflict in Gaza. Israel's come out uh, strongly against the move, accusing the inquiry of bias before it's even started. Here's our Middle East correspondent, Paula Slea. Well, Israel has called the United Nations Human Rights Council a kangaroo court. It comes after the announcement from the council that it was appointing a three-member panel to investigate allegations of possible war crimes. Now, the decision follows an announcement that was made several weeks ago by the head of the council, Navi Pele, and she said at that time that there is the strong possibility that Israel is violating international law and that world powers should hold Israel accountable for possible war crimes. She went on to point out that the Israelis had hit schools, they'd hit homes and hospitals, Gaza's only power plant, UN premises, and that all of this was in violation of the Geneva Conventions. The UN chief, Ban Ki-moon, has also in the past spoken out in the harshest terms against Israel, accusing it of hitting particularly UN schools where thousands of Gazans who have been displaced by the month-long fighting were seeking refuge. Now, Israel has responded by calling this 47-member state forum in the words of the country's foreign minister, he said it was a terrorist rights council and that its investigations and conclusions were predictable. Israel accuses the UN of being biased against it. And what the Israeli argument is, is that it is Hamas who should be investigated for what they call double war crimes. Number one, firing rockets at Israel. And number two, using civilians as human shields. The month-long conflict has claimed more than 1,900 lives and has left Gaza in ruins. Tens of thousands of homes were destroyed or damaged by Israeli strikes. Universities, uh, hundreds of schools and mosques were reduced to rubble. Reports say half a million people have been displaced. That's almost a third of the population. For more than a million civilians, there's no fresh drinking water.